What's going on? Matt here. This is episode 26 of Brown Bag with Maximum Beverage. It's Wednesday, March 15th. Uh, we're in the West Hartford store and I'm standing right by uh, what we have now in both stores is a display where we're showing the wines that we've had um, on each episode here. Um, in both stores, stuff that we liked and even the stuff that we didn't necessarily uh, rate as a buy like uh, maybe that right here. This was on the show. So, um, Anyways, let's get into today's wine. One wine, Monday through Friday, every week for an entire year. Um, we're on wine 26, March 15th. Don, see you later. Um, let's try this one. White wine. Hope everyone dug out of the snow okay. It was uh, some nice weather we had yesterday. A little lime on the nose kind of creamy a kind of creamy lemon flavor actually aroma nice nose uh, not overpowering but you know decent color in this wine really kind of a uh, super pale yellow straw yellow all right so decent acidity on this wine but it's not really over the top I was actually thinking this might be Gewürztraminer but now that I get into it a little bit it's a little lighter in the acidity. Typically, Gewürztraminer will have a little more bright, a little brighter acidity. So this is mellowed a, a touch. Um, nice fruit, well balanced. This is on the lighter side. Uh, perfect food wine. I'd imagine you'd have this with like uh, nice seafood, um, something like that. Um, the varietal is uh, going to escape me here, um, but I have a feeling. Um, if this is a Loire, I'm going to say this is a Loire wine from France, um, and probably somewhere along the likes of, um, God, I don't know, maybe like a Muscad Muscadet. Uh, it's kind of rounder. This Muscadet, when you, you know, uh, part part of me is like, oh, this is you know, Alsace, Gewürztraminer, but then the acidity is a little lighter. Uh, it's a little more. Uh, you know, round, which you gotta get from uh, Muscadet out of out of Loire. So um, I'm gonna say, you know, that's where we're at. Those wines tend to run about 20 bucks, 18 to 20 bucks, decent ones. Um, and I'm gonna give this, it's like an 8.3 to me. Um, you know, it's a great wine. It's very easy drinking. I'm not gonna say it's overly complex, uh, but it's solid. Um, let's see what it is. All right, well, 2015 Ludi uh, Malone, Malone, which is Malone de Bourgogne, which is the grape or varietal they use in Muscadet in the Loire. Um, retail price $21.99, not far off from my 20 bucks. Um, it's from Santa Maria Valley in California, so it's not French, but the varietal is, I don't know, of uh, any other Malone de Bourgogne's made in California. I don't think there are any other ones. Are, are there? I mean, not that I've had. I mean, I'm sure there are. Um, you know, this is good wine. Low alcohol, 11.8. Um, easy drinking, great seafood. I mean, I said seafood and there's an oyster on the label. I don't know if you can see that. Can they see that? Um, I think that's an oyster. Looks like an oyster. Um, good wine. 8.3 out of 10, that's a solid score. Um, you know, if you want something a little different from California, this will fit the bill. And this is like the perfect summer wine. Again, easy drinking. You know, you could, uh, in, in one way or another, kind of slam this back. Um, so come by the stores uh, and check out. We'll have this on the section. And the other two sections, the sections of Farmington too, uh, with the uh, brown bag in it, featured wines. 
Have a good day.